Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a tutorial, a little bit of an informational video, and just generally good knowledge to have. Um, now this pertains to any watch with a metal bracelet uh, that you don't want wearing out. Uh, these Jubilee bands on this particular model, this is a 31 millimeter uh, date just, um, women's date just, they tend to stretch. And the reason why they stretch isn't because you're wearing it too tight. Uh, not necessarily because of the age, it's more because of the dirt that gets lodged and you'll see some of this grime right there in between the links. So you're kind of very uh, not shiny, right? This grime that gets in between the links kind of acts like sandpaper. So it ends up wearing away at the bracelet and it becomes more and more loose. Uh, these Jubilee bands, like I said, are very susceptible to this kind of wear and tear. Uh, but if you keep them clean, you'll be able to extend the life of the band uh, by several years. So it's always a good idea to keep them clean. So here what we have is this ultrasonic uh, jewelry cleaner. Now this can be used for any type of jewelry for the most part, uh, but it can also be used to uh, you know, clean out the bracelet on your watch. Now, forewarning, uh, uh, or rather be forewarned guys, never, never put the head of the watch inside one of these things. Uh, it'll mess up you know, the timing of the watch, it'll mess up the mechanism, and you'll probably have to, you know, Get it serviced, and the service on one of these watches at a, at a authorized dealer is probably you know seven eight hundred bucks. If you have your own watchmaker, it's still going to cost you probably five hundred bucks six hundred bucks. So keep that in mind. Remove the bracelet from the watch before you do anything. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut, and I'm going to take the bracelet off, and we'll get started on the machine. So the bracelet is off the watch. Um, let me tell you that this kind of tool this is a uh, kind of a, a watch spring bar tool. Uh, it's from uh, Bergeon. Bergeon. I don't know how you guys would say that. It's about 15 bucks, 14 bucks, depending on where you get it, eBay, Amazon, wherever. Uh, it's a good tool to have to be able to remove the spring bars. Uh, so you can see it has a little bit of, a, on this end, it has a little bit of kind of these uh, teeth or these two kind of uh, little groove to be able to kind of get in the, in the holes of the spring bar and take them out. Uh, Ber Bergeon is usually the best brand. Uh, so they'll be a little bit more expensive. So you maybe be able to get these for five bucks uh, They have screwdriver sets. They have a bunch of other different tools They actually have one that's kind of like a tweezer that will help you kind of get both parts of the both sides of the spring bar And it'll be a little bit better, but that was like a hundred something bucks. So for right now, I just chose to get one of these So guys uh, This machine is very simple. You know, you see it's got this kind of little cage or little uh, box or whatever you call it and it sits in a metal tray inside the thing. So I get a little bottle of water here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of soap in here. Right. And we'll add a little bit more water. Make sure the bracelet's covered. There, over here. Now we just put the bracelet and we'll, we'll take the spring bars out. Be sure to check your spring bars every once in a while. Um, might be wise to change them. Be sure you get a good quality one so the bracelet doesn't pop off the watch. So basically you can just pop this in here like this. You close the lid. And here you have a few different settings. So you have on off, so you can see that it's on. And you can change it. These are seconds, so it's 280 seconds. You can go up to 380 seconds, I think that's 480. And then you go up to 90. So usually I'll leave it to 380. You know, nothing uh, killer. This one's a little bit dirty, so let's just uh, get on with it and, and and see what happens. As you can see, it's a little bit of a noise. Uh, it's kind of pulsating. It sends these uh, kind of, uh, I would say, ultrasonic waves, I guess, inside the, the water. It kind of shakes that dirt off of uh, the little parts that you might have trouble getting out if you just uh, kind of try to clean in the sink. So guys, I'm gonna cut again. We'll wait till the end of this uh, of this thing and then we'll take a look at the bracelet. All right guys, so this thing just stopped. Let's go ahead and get it out of here. Water will be a little bit warm. Okay. Go ahead and grab this bottle of water right here, just to do it in front of the camera. Kind of rinse it off a little bit. Get a decent uh, idea of what it is. You can rinse it off later in the sink a little bit more. 
But we're just gonna dry it off and we're gonna see how it looks after one pass. You can do multiple passes, especially this one hasn't been done in a while. So, you know, you can choose how much uh, you, wanna, uh, you wanna have it done. You can see now in between the, the links, right? You don't see that, that uh, stubborn, you see a little bit there, so it might need a little bit more. But, uh, but for the most part, you see a lot less of that kind of grimy stuff in between the links. And uh, so this one might need a couple passes to be sure of everything. And then just do a quick rinse in the sink, guys, and it should be good. Um, this, like I said, is an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. Uh, you can find these on Amazon, eBay. Uh, I would get a decent quality one. I wouldn't get the cheapest one you can get. This is a Magnasonic one from Amazon. I'm not exactly sure how much it costs me. Probably about 40 bucks, 30 bucks. So it's a worthwhile investment, guys. It's not just for any, um, it's not just for a Rolex, it's for any watch. I'm gonna go ahead and put the LUC bracelet from my show part in here. Um, I'm gonna rinse it out and, and put it in there uh, while I'm at it. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Uh, like and comment in the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.